Welcome back everybody. So today is going to be a little bit different. Not really on an adventure. I'm actually just off of the side of the road. Let me show you. I just found a spot anywhere along the side of the road that has no people and no internet. Because we we're going to test something really cool out that I got and I'm really excited for our future trips way up island. So uh, without further ado, let's see what we got. Yes. I got Elon Musk to send me something. I'm super excited to try this because when I'm out on the road in the middle of nowhere um, I would really like to have internet access to get ahead on video editing and it is just nice to have internet access I won't always use it just for longer trips I'm really curious to see how this Starlink works so um, this is gonna be a video and I legit have not set this up yet this is the very first time I've set one of these up so hopefully it goes alright I've seen other YouTube videos and it looks pretty straightforward so uh, let's try this together shall we package Open her up. I actually have opened it, but I haven't used it. I just wanted to see it. So I don't know how I'm going to do for storing this, or if I'm just going to use this box, or if I'm going to use something different. I don't know yet. Okay. Stand. I do want to note that I do have an inverter in this fan, so if you guys are thinking it's 12 volt or something like that, cigarette lighter, no, you need 110. So you'd need like one of those jackeries or something along those lines or an inverter setup like I have in here. So we have our dish. Safe to assume goes into here. This you do want to apparently want to put somewhere like not in the way of trees, somewhere clear view of the sky. So I'll go find a little home for this and then we'll go to the router and the power setup. So give me a second here. Well, for now there's uh, basically a big opening between these two trees. So I think I'm going to start here and it's kind of close to the van. So we'll start with that. And the nice thing about that is I can actually slide open one of my windows and put the uh, cord through. But for the time being, I think I'm just going to bring it around the front here. Okay, cord. We'll just put it right here for now. As a guy, we're really bad at reading instructions, but they really sure make it really easy for us this time. I mean, look at, there's literally no writing on it. If that's not guy instructions, I don't know what is. We don't like reading things. Pictures. So I guess I'll follow these instructions. So first step, put somewhere clear towards the sun. Sure, check. Plug it into the router, and then router to power source and then go to the app. I downloaded the app last night on my iPad and my phone. Power cord we have here. I'd probably say this is only five or six feet long. The router, most likely you want to keep in like a dry area, hence your van, RV, camper, whatever you're using. So it appears you can only put these in one way, and that's the right way, because otherwise it'll hit something. So plug my power in, let's plug in satellite. Is that the right word for it, satellite? The thing that's gonna move. And this goes here, once again, you can only put it in one way, so that's kind of cool. I really like that. Okay, let's just put it somewhere safe up here, per se. Plug it in. So basically, that's done. The router's plugged in, and then the app. Apparently, it's easy to uh, download the wrong Starlink app, so the one you want is right there. So let's see how it goes. Let's do our start setup. We have select your dish, so that's my dish. Confirm. Find a clear view of the sky. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go check over by it. As you can see, it's already it's leveled itself out. So now I think I need to check for obstructions. Now it's saying view results and uh, let's just see what it says. Obstructions at this location may cause interruptions, streaming video, web browsing, video calls, online gaming. Maybe because there is trees right there, right in front of it. I thought it would kind of poke through the hole, but I guess orientation to this thing is very key and it wants to face north, which would literally be in front of a tree. So bear with me a minute here. I'm gonna maybe move this around. So I've moved it over here. We are closer to the road but pretty much right above it is open. So let's try this one more time. So same thing. It's probably these trees. It, uh, it doesn't say that I can't use it here, but maybe for high speeds, that's what it's referring to. So I'm just gonna try it here and see what we can get. So then we'll just say, set up here. Connecting Starlink. So now I'm getting this, open settings. Connect your Starlink, connect your Starlink Wi-Fi. Just a quick tip here guys, the first time you set this up it will be the activation process so it now has to connect to the satellites in the sky and this does take 15 to 20 minutes so if this next thing happens to you don't freak out and do what I did, it will eventually work. It appears we are online. No internet connection. Let's just give it a minute here, let's see what happens. 
this is not going so well for me. Most of us know that if you are in a heavily wooded area, these things don't work well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's my case right now. So I'm gonna pack up and try another spot. Okay, we are at a new spot and it is, I would have to say very open here. So if it doesn't work here, then it's probably something to do with it. Let's try it out again. Let's try this one more time. Just a side note, if it says there's obstructions that might uh, interfere with the speed, <laughs> does not mean it's not working. So it's been working for a while now and I just haven't noticed, but anyways, we're gonna do a speed test. Check this out. That's not bad. 43 megabytes per second, I mean, I don't think that's terrible. But let's see if I can find a video and see if it'll load a video. We're streaming a video right now. That's impressive. Let's see if we can FaceTime our brother. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. There's my brother. We're video we're video chatting. That's that's crazy guys. Check that out. I'm on the Starlink. Are you really? Yeah, dude. Look at the Starlink right there. Oh dude, sweet. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Dude, this thing is a game changer, bro. This iPad is also for my map, which I literally only download maps on it for offline usage. It's really tough to use your phone. So that's also gonna be nice is to have this as doubling for uh, YouTube. You don't have to bring like a laptop with you. So let's just see how easy it is to connect another device. I would imagine that it's just like your regular Wi-Fi router at home. Settings, Wi-Fi, Outland Harry, join, and I have Wi-Fi right on the iPad. So now I can go on uh, YouTube or Prime Video or whatever, or if I want to update a map. Sometimes with the offline maps, you forget to save certain areas. So if you're in a new area, well now I can just download the map. So that's really cool. So another thing that we're gonna go over is, uh, I want to see how bad it is on battery. How bad it is on battery, how bad? I want to see how much battery, okay. So for my next question, how much power does it use? So let's go over to my uh, Renergy battery monitor and let's just see if it's sustainable for you know, eight, 10, 12 hour periods. Maybe it's something you turn off and on. So let's go take a look over here. All right, what is this reading at? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So it appears to be using, wow, it really fluctuates. 45, 49, 47, 50. Let's just say it's between 50 and 60. So between 50 and 60 watts, just doing quick math in my head, that would probably run on my setup. I have two 100 amp hour lead acid batteries in there. Um, that would probably go for a good eight to 10 hours. I'm just gonna stop the video again really quick here to let you guys know that my math was completely off. I was thinking of one 100 amp hour battery when I did the quick math. I have two, like I mentioned. And second of all, I don't even know why I was trying to do quick math. Because if you look over here to this photo, you're going to notice one thing. This is my Renergy battery monitor. And if you look to the right and in the middle, that 4437 number, well, those are the hours and minutes that it's gonna take to drain dead at its current rate, which if you look below that number is 58.9 watts. So that tells you that my math is way off, guys. I just wanted to point that out. And I also want to let anybody know with a similar battery capacity, how long this would last so this just gives everybody a rough idea of that. At least, if not way more, that's just quick numbers in my head. And there's nothing else running right now, like the fridge is off, there's no lights on, the diesel heater's not on. So, I mean, if you had everything else on, it definitely adds a strain to the whole system, but in all honesty, not a ton for what you get. Just having the ability to maybe watch a movie at the end of the night is pretty cool. For my conclusion, I'm gonna say awesome. I love it. This is a great, great thing and it was very cheap. There was a sale on them for $2.59 plus you had to buy the first month. So all out the door, I think it was $3.30 or $3.40. So that's really cool. It is a refurbished one, which in my opinion is better because now it's been through quality control twice and with the same warranty as a new one. So I'm okay with that. I probably won't use it a ton and then the subscriptions can be paused. Next up, how easy was it to set up? Very easy guys. As you can see, place your dish somewhere clear view if to the north. Maybe I'll put it on my van in the future, like up there, not permanently, but when I need to set it up. Um, plug in the router and then plug in the dish to the router, scan the sky, and you're good to go. It, I'd have to say this takes less than five minutes to set up. Next thing, uh, I am going to say, I wish it was a little bit less bulky. I'm not sure how I wanna store this. I don't really wanna keep using that box. So I'm sure there's a lot of good ideas out there on YouTube or Google that how people store them and use them and 
all that so I'll look into that this is mostly just to see how well it works it says it's only getting half the speed and it wants me to move the dish and even at that as you guys seen I was able to FaceTime and go onto YouTube and watch a video so if I had moved it a little bit more north and into a clearer view of the north probably would have got a lot more speed out of it I, this is just for testing purposes and to see what it's limited to so so far very impressed would I recommend anybody getting it at that price how could you not like I said the subscription can be paused which is an, an amazing thing this day and age I get it it's hard to be disconnected from the internet it usually takes me two days to get used to not having any kind of connection and it, it's it's nice after day three I will admit that I do love not being connected to the world but at the end of the day at least I can watch some TV at nighttime if it's a really rainy day and I don't want to move or can't go do anything and I'm in the van. It will keep me occupied, so that's one benefit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to set up and use your Starlink. Um, hopefully it's changed some of your minds to get some. Hopefully it didn't change your mind and made you just think, I don't need it. It isn't for everybody. Um, I think I'll get a lot of use of it and I'll enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but uh, Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.